Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. Well, it rained last night into the early morning, and everything has gotten a beautiful bath. That's what I call it, especially from all of the catkins that's like these little uh, tassels that were on the oak trees here and the whole place was just full of dust and um, it was very you know if you had an allergy well it would show up uh, but now it's been washed away so my seedlings are happy and they look so much more hydrated and everything looks and smells so fresh here in the garden. Welcome, welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow, 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 grow together. I visited my local grower and was able to pick up some more peppers to add to the front garden. And so I got myself this one, which is the California Wonder pepper. And then I got this one, which is Elisa Elisa pepper. And I also got some more of the Cubanelle sweet pepper. And I'm going to plant them in the front garden there with um, the pansies and also, or Johnny Jump Ups, I think they are, and also the petunias. I'm going to put them in the back and create a hedge. The peppers seem to grow very well in that location, so that's what I'm going to do there. Now these are coleus. This, this is a fairway series of coleus. And I'm going to add these by the back uh, side border there, uh, just to add some more color to that greenery. Um, they are so pretty. And I think this is really my color scheme for uh, this season that we're heading into, the summer season. And it will look good with my Tropicana cannas and the other cannas that I have as well. So I'm excited about putting them in the ground. I love how this center bed um, has turned out for this year so far. To me it looks like a butterfly with its large wings at the top, the center, and then the two um, bottom wings or sections to the wings. I am so pleased at how the bearded iris has grown up and now flowered for the first time around the bird bath. Good morning and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. It is so good to be here with you today. I hope that all is well with you. Well, the garden has been able to get a nice washing. Yes, it is 
so good when the rain falls on the garden because it just brings everything back to life. Here in my New England garden, I am in zone six in the Boston area. We are in the middle of a transition and the purple sensation alliums are trying to hold out to give us color along with the rhododendrons. And the purple theme has been very huge at this time. It's the colors of purple and the pastel colors of red, that's the pink family, along with white, has dominated the garden. But that is all about to change. And of course, green. Everything has leafed out here. All of the trees have their full leaves now. And so one can actually see the shaded areas and what areas get a lot of light, a sunlight. But I am not knocking the shade because when the temperatures start to rise, many of the plants are going to love having an opportunity to be protected from the shade of the trees. That full sunlight will be just a little bit too much. I'm speaking of the hostas and my um, shade, part shade, part sun loving plants. Right now, the bed that is taking center stage is right before us. You can really see the white amenities popping up out throughout these beds. The center bed, especially in the back corner here. It's just cute. I like also how my pot in the middle of the that container that has my Olivia Rose is coming along. It took a lot of courage for me to remove my Madonna lilies from there that I had for many, many years, 20 plus. And instead give my Olivia Rose the honor of center stage in the garden. It's going to be such an exciting thing to see its first blooms. And there are quite a few there on the plant. I think about four or five. Now here in this bed, where my blue, Nyko blue hydrangea is, it had initially a lot of flowers that or potential for flowers, but that cold snap killed a lot of the buds. And you can see that on the branches. But there are a few buds coming forth, so it's something to look forward to. Those uh, fern in the back are taking over. I'm going to have to weed them out a bit, but for right now, I'm allowing it to grow in the green and fresh in the bed.
have a lot of oak trees and my oak trees have these little tassels on it and they're called catkins and so the whole area has been covered by these catkins causing a lot of dust and so it has been a wonderful thing to see the rainfall and wash away those um, that dust, that catkins. And so now the leaves of everything has uh, been given a good washing because it rained from uh, 1 a.m. until 5 uh, a.m. this morning. And it was just a good thing. It's going to rain some more which is also great too. So my seedlings got a good dose of water from on high, which is wonderful because it's nothing like natural rain water. And so I wanna just talk a little bit about the garden with you and share my thoughts as uh, we finish off with May. This is Saturday, the last Saturday in May, and then we're moving in to June. And June is going to be an explosive month of color because that's when the roses open up. And I have roses throughout the garden and I'm going to have such a great time sharing with you uh, my roses in the garden. So come and join me as we prep the vegetables and get uh, things ready for growing because the earth is just ready to receive the seeds and the, the ground is warm and now moist and wet. So whatever you put in the ground right now, it's going to grow. And I'm excited about that. So uh, let's take a look at what I have and just enjoy um, what we see happening as we get ready for the transition into a festival of flowers. Yes, especially the roses. I've told myself that I have to appreciate every season and every month of my garden because different things show up at different times and if you're not attentive you'll miss it. Right now the bearded iris is filling up that side border. It's definitely a green and white bed. You could see all of the different shades of white in the bed from different plants. The tips of the bearded iris. The hostas. And even my two rabbits sitting there. This bed looks a little different than it has used, looked in the past. Actually every year the beds look different. My husband has allowed the grass behind the borders to actually grow out and thicken up. And to me, it looks like a meadow back there. Meadows have been a big thing now, especially in the UK. I know it's not going to last, but it's different. It's been so dry, and so he has hesitated in cutting that back area, allowing it to become a little overgrown.
I love this bed right here. Those begonias are so colorful and they speak of what is to come. Soon the Casablanca lilies will be opening back there and the other flowers, the sun patients will be huge along with some dahlias and other things. The coleus, yes. The colors of the coleus. So if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe for more because we're expecting to see the roses open up. And I want you to be a part of my garden community. We meet on Wednesdays at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time where we talk and chat and have a great time together. So I'm inviting you to come and be a part of this experience. It really is fun and we have a lot of laughs and we share knowledge and we just enjoy one another. So come and join us here at Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow, 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 grow together. Yes. And um, let's just enjoy the garden and each other here for this season. So see you in June. Bye. like subscribe and hit the notification bell and thank you so much for watching see you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. bye